Greetings, angelic guides of the new earth codes. We are now anchoring into the grid, the highest frequencies, the highest codes of the higher dimensional heavenly realms through the zero point energy of the equinox. Tomorrow we transition into the new moon in Aries, further anchoring in the zero point energies of the divine feminine. If some things do not make sense, it is because we are transitioning and transcending beyond the senses. Before starting this recording, three seventeens came into consciousness, the trinity of source and the 73, 73 coming in again, the heaven on earth codes, the new earth codes, the new earth frequencies of the 5D, also with the 46, on the Schumann Resonance, the 46 Hertz. And today, the last 24 hours, 163 earthquakes. And looking at the map on Earthquake Track, it's this perfect circle around the Ring of Fire. It's connecting the Divine Feminine of Lemuria, of Mu, with the Divine Masculine of Atlantis, Atlantean energies, and multiple 46 4.6 magnitude earthquakes in Indonesia and the Lemurian and the Philippines and multiple earthquakes in Puerto Rico as the whole field of Gaia is rising as we are ascending with her. Now today I'd like to resolve a few things before we get started with the transmissions because many energies have come into my awareness today over the last several days with this unknown, this unknown of the future and the activating a sense of discomfort and fear. So some of the things to help resolve for those close to you as wayshores and warriors of the light. One of the things that is coming up is this fear, not only of the unknown, but the fear of death, which to most people, death is an unknown. It's a transition and only because of the amnesia programming of this 3D realm. So one way to resolve this for people is to let them know that they cannot die. You cannot die because you were never born. You just don't remember who you are. And that's where the fear arises from that unknown forgetfulness of our true oneness with Source, with God, with Creator. So you can guide people and let them know that the only true prayer is to pray to be one with God with all their heart. And it doesn't matter what name they give to God. It could be Buddha, Tao, Source, Creator. In the Native American and in the Taoist, we might say the great mystery, the mystery beyond all mysteries that manifests all into creation, manifests the void, and then out of the void manifests physical form. The void you can think of is heaven or the sacred space that contains all forms and what we speak of as God, Creator, Great Spirit, beyond the form and the formless. And it is not that you can separate from Source, as many of you know, but it's the illusion of separation, the simulation of separation that confuses people, that gets people in fear, in doubt, in conflict, the internal conflict. That's why with the faith, the faith in the universe, the faith in God, the faith in yourself, to realize our oneness with Creator Source. The great mystery does not care what you call it. You can call it nature. But whatever brings up that resonance, that feeling of love and connection and bliss and joy, use that as the prayer. We use the mind as a tool, as a guide to activate our consciousness to look within, to seek ye the kingdom of heaven within. And in that process, it evokes a feeling, an emotion, and then we feel ourselves into that unknowable aspect beyond the mind, beyond the form, beyond the void, going through and through and through until we totally merge, reconnect, or become aware of our oneness with the unborn mind of Buddha, with the great mystery. And then in that oneness, in that pure awareness, all things are perfectly resolved. And in the end, only fear itself truly perishes. 
And it is the resolution and the final release of that false awareness, that false aspect of ourselves that created the fear to begin with. And from that fear, many things manifest. So as we resolve all fears, all conflict, all suffering, we enact and activate our greatest power, our greatest love to manifest new earth and to reunite with all of the lost ones of our ancestors and our loved ones in the higher realms. And then we can truly manifest the eternal bliss consciousness that is our birthright and is our most sacred self, Aho. And as we release, let go, and free ourself and free humanity from the suffering program, we rise up through the mud, through the muck, through the filth, to blossom and bloom into the eternal pure light of God victorious, reuniting, reconnecting with our angelic teams, the ascendant masters, and the star nations, and all those that have gone before us in this most holy sacred ceremony of atonement with the all, fully present, fully conscious, fully aware. And as we let go into that emptiness, the void, we dive in to that feeling and totally merge with the eternal conscious mind. And through this ascension, we uplift all life in all realms, all timelines, all dimensions, so we can live consciously in the peace, harmony, joy, bliss, and love forevermore. Blessings in the light. Today's first transmission from Michael Love, the event 2020, planetary DNA activation in progress, Pleiadian Light Forces transmissions 3 22 2020. A special message to the star seeds of New Earth for immediate planetary broadcast. Prelude. The following information is derived from direct, decoded etheric transmissions from benevolent light forces docked in Earth's solar system, and some of the data comes directly from certain inside Earth Alliance members known as the White Hats and the Great White Brotherhood strategically placed in key positions of power by the galactics on the surface of planet Earth, begin transmission. The Earth Alliance is reporting at this hour that as part of the latest Operation Freedom Earth, missions, benevolent light forces docked in Earth's solar system blasted the surface of planet Earth for several hours overnight and this morning with powerful 40 Hz 5D gamma light beams. The galactics are firing these powerful 40 Hz gamma photon light beams towards the surface to strengthen the new VTXC 5D crystalline light grid that will serve as the etheric framework for the new 5D Earth. The new 5D light grid is being retrofitted and overlaid directly on top of the old 3D matrix as all systems that make up the physical Earth matrix are being phased out and upgraded to 5D New Earth systems as we speak. The powerful inbound waves of gamma light being deflected to Earth are activating star seeds and human DNA to a much higher order and this light is totally disintegrating all remaining traces of lower vibrational dark energy from this realm. The planet is being terraformed from darkness into light right before our eyes. Great One in the most incredible galactic operation the Earth has ever witnessed. Tonight the Pleiadians would like to speak about the technical mechanics of this grand ascension event and show you how it all fits together. Dear one, you knew a long time ago the current planetary liberation event occurring on Earth is something that first had to happen within you and you knew that only then would it begin to manifest as the outward reality, first personally then on a collective level. What exactly is happening from a macro level down to the smallest micro level inside of you? Gamma light and DNA, as we said, the large recent influxes of inbound gamma light are triggering a major DNA activation among the beings of Earth right now. When we say the Great Awakening is happening on Earth, we ultimately mean that at the microbiological level, the Great DNA activation is happening. Let's first speak about the light, and specifically a special spectrum of light. We often use the phrase 40 Hz 5D Gamma Light in our teachings and messages. 
Why is this light so important in regards to the event and the ascension? 40 Hz 5D gamma light is emitted from the galactic core and is sometimes just called cosmic rays. The levels of cosmic rays coming into planet Earth have greatly increased over the last few months and the levels are increasing every day. Gamma light upgrades DNA and it does it faster than anything known. How does this work? Earth scientists discovered a while back the astounding proven fact that gamma light can transform a living organism from one species to another near instant. Note, though some earth scientists have a basic understanding of this advanced Pleiadian biolight technology, humanity in general is not yet ready for or responsible enough to deploy the technology for any practical or humane use. A few years ago, Russian science successfully proved that shining a gamma laser through the cells of an embryo of species 1 into the embryo of species 2 for only 24 hours causes the embryo of species 2 to be born as species 1. This may sound like magic, but it's 100% true. We advise you to do in-depth research about this. The same universal principle that causes this to happen also works on a much larger macro scale. Species 1 is the human race, species 2 is the angelic race. As incoming gamma rays from the 5D central sun at the galactic core bombard human vessel DNA, humans are being morphed into a god species where they will possess 12 active strands of DNA. Though starseeds are an entirely different species than humans are in fact already the angelic race, they elected to come to Earth and go through the human ascension process along with humanity for the purpose of having the experience and came to assist humanity with their ascension. The starseeds of Earth elected to have 10 of their DNA strands deactivated, lowering their vibration extremely low, forgetting who they were and having all of their divine powers greatly weakened. Also, since Earth starseeds have lived with and around humans so long, many of them mistakenly think they are actually a human. This is why many of the starseeds of Earth have such a hard time in their incarnations here. Until recently, the thought rarely entered their mind, if ever, that they are one of the most advanced species in the universe. This is all changing quickly now as massive awakening is occurring on the surface. Both the starseeds and humans of planet Earth are currently morphing into a divine race. The starseeds are simply further along in this evolutionary process and will reach ascension first and as we said will then assist humanity in their evolutionary process. When we speak of DNA activation, what do we really mean? We believe a better descriptive phrase here might be DNA reconnection as the main 12 DNA strands in the physical container are recoded by cosmic gamma light data they naturally form a new geometric growth pathway and literally plug themselves back into one of the corresponding resonant 12 chakra energy portals or ports. Chakras are non-physical, multidimensional energetic portals in the layered body that form a gravitational grip onto the DNA strand and hold it in place. When the DNA strand is connected back into its proper port, advanced cosmic data, akashic light, starts flowing through the cells of the DNA strand, then out through the central nervous system and all throughout the body. Though there are 12 primary strands of DNA filaments, there are trillions and trillions of tiny crystalline gossamer threads called nades that carry this cosmic energy through the body where it is then decoded and perceived in magnificent ways by the being that inhabits the body. Let's go even deeper. What is going on? at the subcellular atomic level in your DNA when a gamma light wave contacts your auric field, the incoming beams of solar ionic gamma photon light particles being directed to us have the ability to cut through to the nucleus of the human atom to shift its chemical bonds and change the very makeup of our atomic structure. This rearrangement of our atomic structure is morphing our cells into a more complex crystalline structure that can literally allow all the data in the universe to begin flowing through the human body computer. Humanity began as an advanced shining star race, but human DNA was unplugged by nefarious beings about 350,000 years ago, and humanity was enslaved and plugged into the dark with no information. No human had a clue that anything had even happened. That's how severe this body shutdown was. Even in today's modern world, 
all unconscious humans don't have a notion that anything exists outside of their daily 3D world they have been programmed to perceive and operate in. The good news is when human DNA was unplugged in ancient days, the strands were left in place in the physical container and now it is literally reconnecting itself with the help of the divine beings docked in Earth's solar system. The 5D gamma light they are sending to Earth right now exactly matches the human body's original divine blueprint. We are progressively mutating into the God beings we truly are and this is a metamorphic process of solar empowered alchemy which is changing our atomic bodies from a carbon-based framework into a finely tuned silicon crystal system. This new crystal biocomputer or light body is able to translate the most advanced data in the universe instantly and is far more efficient than any quantum computer that was ever conceived. The morphogenesis occurring in the bodies of the light beings of Earth is due to the constant waves of supercharged plasma rays being sent to Earth by benevolent life forces from the very core of our Milky Way galaxy. These rays have entered the crystalline Earth, discharging an ionized type of radiation that neutralizes, cleans, recodes, energizes, transforms, and rebuilds the human vessel DNA, allowing all living systems here to expand and breathe more light. The Pleiadian definition of ionized radiation is radiation composed of particles that individually carry enough kinetic energy to liberate an electron from an atom, therefore ionizing it. Every time we receive these cosmic gamma rays into the physical body container, our entire genome is rearranged, aligned with more complex cosmic templates. When we say these solar ionic particles have the ability to cut through to the nucleus of the human atom, it means there are billions of nuclear reactions happening in your body constantly as it reconfigures itself into a more advanced structure. This atomic reaction happening in the physical light body ship alters the ratio of the basic compounds of our elemental structure, thereby taking us into a much faster vibrational spin and forever freeing us from the outdated carbon-based atomic code. Dear one, you are going through a physiological emergence of faster, lighter vibrational densities and you are doing it step by step, cell by cell. The morphogenesis happening inside of you is actually considered impossible by human physics because you cannot take a dense material physical object, your body, up into a faster vibrational non-physical realm. Physical and non-physical are polar opposites and like mixing oil with water or putting a square peg in a round hole. You can make it fit, but some serious alterations have to happen for it to fit with no gaps. You can mix oil and water for a nanosecond, but again you have to do a bit of magic to make it mix for good. The DNA that makes up your cells is the multidimensional link that fuses your higher vibrational etheric being with a physical human body. While experiencing an increase in conscious awareness and the primary requirement for ascension to higher realms, the physical human body vessel aspect of this ascension is the main focal point. Why? Because we love the physical experience, at least the pleasant parts of it, and we want to have this pleasant physical experience in faster vibrating realms of 5D and above, where physicality has not been experienced to this point. As you integrate your new energy frequency for this new fifth dimension, you start to move closer to the one source. Your higher multidimensional being evolves to a point of higher recalibration of all that exists, a point of infinite possibilities. As you ascend, you unlock your light being and fifth strand of DNA, allowing you to access full memory of who you are, past lives, and what you came to earth to do. Your reactivation of your God particle will then take you into your God being. Impossible things become nothing for you because you become limitless. You are God source energy. This is your awakening and we are excited to see that you are fully awakening to who and what you truly are. You are opening the crystalline seals into avatar consciousness. From Michael and the Pleiadians, 5dearthproject.com And a quick side note. Earlier I spoke of the prayer of being one with Source, one with God, one with the Great Spirit, Great Mystery. And the only reason that the human mind would even need to do this, and we know that when we go into fear, doubt, worry, and anger, that it is that feeling 
of separation that creates and causes the illness and dis-ease within the body. And it's not that you can separate from source. All separation is part of the simulation. It's part of the programming, part of the false manifestation of the true source. So this prayer that I am, or I pray to be one with God, I am one with source. But through the conversion of our pure awareness into the suffering of the matrix, in a sense, we were convinced or tricked into believing we were less than or separate from Creator. And it is in this prayer that it assists us in remembering our true oneness that we never did, never can, or never will separate or remove ourselves from the truth, the love, and the light of the one true source. So this prayer to be one with God is just to remember, to remind us of this oneness. And in that prayer, when we feel and experience that we are already truly one with our highest self, with God, source, light, creator, we resolve the programming and contradictions of fear, doubt, and worry and are uplifted. And this is part of the ascension process. Feeling, experiencing, and knowing in the most simplest of ways our true connection and oneness with all things, all beings, and all realms, and ultimately with the pure awareness, the pure true light of divine creator of the great mystery. And today from Hilda van der Laan, you are protected in the Schumann Resonance Heart Space Light. Saint Corona, simply explain, Saint Corona walked among the sick without fear. Fear is only an indication of no heart connection to source out of alignment, love, no true universal law. She knew there was nothing to fear and remained in the heart space. The higher dimensions within DNA were fully activated. When this happens, the pineal gland is also activated. People who can see in terms of energy can see an aerial light around this person's head. Your pineal gland is a crystalline receiver of source energy and emanates source energy light. This can be seen in many paintings of holy people. Where light is fully activated DNA, no dark can enter. The etheric chakras of the female principle are being activated. These are the chakras including the heart and the chakras above the heart because these have been dormant, unactivated DNA for eons. You may have sensations of flu-like symptoms in these regions of the body. Flu pandemics always occur during high solar activity. You can research that if you like. You are a son, S-U-N, of God. Good. The Son of Holy Earth provides the upwards DNA activated spiral. Our, our outer Son provides the downwards DNA activating spiral. Both spirals meet in the heart space and activate. It's like the diamond particle in the heart space, your inner source of wisdom. From the heart, the energy of both suns flows through your crystalline meridian chakra system to enlighten the same a needle point of source energy around which the atoms cycle, a miniature solar system, one with all in existence. The sun is a satellite of source, a stargate through which source energy flows into the solar system. 1. When fear, low vibration is felt, be mindful. Then you lose this vertical heart connection. Go back to the happy heart space and shine like the sun. You are a stargate through which source energy flows, co-creating with your loving imagination. Relax, drink water, be happy, and see history manifesting. Corona is the misuse of a name like Isis. Violet flame, please. You are on top of the pyramid now in control of our collective future. With love, Hilda. And a side note... When looking up St. Corona, she was martyred in 177 A.D. in Syria. Some believe to be in Damascus, like on the road to Damascus. Well, 177, we have the 17 and the 77 and the 71 encoded in there. Now, Corona's name was also known as Stephanie 
or Stephania, or Stephana, from the Greek Stephanos, meaning crown, and Corona's Memorial Day in the Orthodox Church calendar is the 11th of November, feast day the 14th. So we have for the Saint Corona, or Saint Stephanie, 1111, the 1111 portal, and to the 1212, which is the celebration of the Virgin of Guadalupe, Divine Feminine. So we have the two feminine portals being encoded and activated through these synchronicities and symbolisms that are manifesting out through the collective. So these are powerful times, beloved beings of light being fully activated, fully uploaded, upgraded, and activated. Today from Elizabeth Peru, Breaking Cosmic Message, the 13 of the Divine Goddess coming in. Beloved ones, with most of the globe staying indoors more than ever, this is our collective opportunity to know ourselves with inner contemplation. Cosmic energy is still influencing us, just the same as always. Within the next 24 hours, it's a micro new moon, the smallest of 2020, and Earth's message for you is to be still. Reset. Look up, look out your windows to the stars. Remember that as above, so below. Many people coming to my work may have never turned within before or haven't felt ready to explore their spiritual path. The time is now. From ElizabethPeru.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin254, White Resonant Wizard. Resonant is the name for the number 7, and its key words are channel, free will, and attune. Number 7 days are all about using your intuition, trusting your gut instincts, we all have this ability, but sadly too often we ignore what we feel. Listen carefully. Spirit is always trying to send us messages. You just need to tune your receiver. Today is white wizard and keywords associated with it are enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. The wizard of the Zolkin is a charming character who can mesmerize all that encounters him. If you are a wizard, you are always charming, but when it's your day, you have even more power over others. So be careful how you use your charms. We can all take a leaf out of a wizard's book of spells and enchant others too. An enchantment can occur in pleasant surprises, chance encounters, or magical journeys. Today, if you use your intuition, it will lead you in the right direction. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, White Resonant Wizard, Kin 254, 23 March 2020, Attuning to Magic. 23-3-2020, equal 12, equal 3, 23, the royal star of the lion, strength, support, protection, 5, change, freedom, transformation, 4, form, foundation, earth, angelic, 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity, Kin 254, equal 11, equal 2, partnership, romance. Day 7 of the spectacular Yellow Star Wave Spell, where we are awakening our sparkle and using our creativity to attract more beauty, grace, and harmony in our lives, so that our lives become a living work of art. Today we are becoming still and receptive in order to attune to the endlessness of the magic that surrounds us and fills our being with sparkle. Tone of Creation, Resonant Tone 7 in the Emotional Realm, Action inspires power channel, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine-tune and channel these magical forces as our sparkle is ignited when we then inspire others who can see our light. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this broadcasts through our emotional body rather than our mental body so it is very important that we are stable, calm, and receptive to our feelings and what frequencies we are actually emitting, a transmitter to the etheric realm. Number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which is divinely perfect on a white wizardry day. On tone seven, our vibrating phenomenon learns to be still and to listen. Mystical seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all. Today is a very powerful magical code, but unless you put in the effort to create something with this energy that presents, then it will just rush on by and nothing will change. 
So the gift of Khan is to know that a little effort each day pays off big dividends in the long term. That little seed will be a seedling, then a plant, and then perhaps one day a mighty tree. If you do not see instant miracles in one day, do not give up on the magic spell that you cast. You have set the spell in motion. Your enchantment is being created in the aethers and it is on its way. Keep believing and keep expressing your radiant powers benevolently each day, and the universe will return the energy one thousandfold. Today's question is how can I channel and attuned to the endless magic and wisdom that surrounds me in order to create healing miracles in my life, becoming inspirational. Wishing you a divinely charming and magical white wizardry day. And also from Christina Papagiorgio from Galactic Destiny Readings, closing the cycle, the final countdown, completion of the Zolkin calendar and yellow star wave spell, we commence this yellow star wave spell, our final of 20 wave spells in the sacred Zolkin calendar, on Monday, 17th, March 2020. And we are due to reach its completion this Sunday, on the 29th, March 2020. This will complete the 260-day cycle of our journey through the dream spell Zolkin, which is known as the Galactic Spin. We started this evolutionary spin with Kin 1, Red Magnetic Dragon, back on July 13, 2019, many moons ago. The Kin who births all creation from the void. Two weeks later, we entered the year of the White Magnetic Wizard, the first in the current 13-year wizard cycle. Thus, we have six more days to go before reaching our final destination, Kin 260, the Yellow Cosmic Sun, which is the ultimate in cosmic consciousness opening a gateway to enlightenment. At the 13th octave in the wave spell spiral, we reach the cosmic gate and have returned to zero point once again and can easily access source codes. As we are traveling down the 13th vertical column in the Zolkin calendar, this is called the 13th gate and corresponds to the opening of our crown chakra, column 1 in the base chakra and column 7 in the heart chakra, and represents the spine, our foundation. The gap days highlighted are more intense portal days when the veils are thinner and we can access much higher frequency energies. The pattern they denote is the galactic butterfly and directly activates our DNA. Thus, every 260-day journey through the Zolkin upgrades our DNA to a higher evolutionary frequency. Storm warning. The storm is coming. On Saturday, 28th of March, 2020, the blue crystal storm, Kin 259, catalyzes great planetary transformation, uniting us in a crystalline web of expanded awareness in preparation for our enlightenment the next day. Kin 260, Yellow Cosmic Sun, closes the 260-day Zolkin count and is said to contain all kin in one, as it is the final kin, having energetically absorbed all preceding kin frequencies and lessons, it is also a gap day, galactic activation portal day, meaning the normal energies are souped up and extra intense. So we have a super duper buildup of compounding energies reaching the final completion of the Zolkin cycle. In the dream spell count, this kin 260 represents the magic flight regenesis of the 260 day galactic spin. Moon Genesis complete. Galactic free will attained. Buckle up and grab your sunnies. This will be another day night to remember. After completing the spin, we recommence a new higher frequency spin of the cycle being birthed anew with Kin 1, Red Magnetic Dragon, on Monday, the 30th of March 2020, bringing forth the new creation codes for the new Aquarian era. We have a colorful cocktail of very potent evolutionary energies. Enjoy this phenomenal phase and celebrate our victory in becoming the brightest shining star that you are through our united and total expansion of love joy and total euphoric bliss victory to the light in la kek a la kin christina white magnetic world bridger kin 66 kin 254 white resonant wizard the mantra the code for today is 
I channel in order to enchant. Inspiring receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of death. And what is this power of death? It is the power of transformation, the power of rebirth, the power of freedom, the power of death of the old, false, simulation, into that which is real, the unchanging eternal truth, the eternal life, the eternal light of one true source, the great mystery. And through this process of ascension and activating our true prayers, our true codes of remembering and reuniting our prayer to be one with God, once again fully conscious and fully aware, we utilize the powers of the mind to go within and find the kingdom of heaven within the still point, the zero point, the sacred void. And as we let go, release all concepts, all thoughts, and activate our deepest feeling of true love, of creator source, and all its manifestations, we dive deeply and fully into the abyss. We step through the sacred portal, step through the sacred doorway into the infinite and the eternal and truly experiencing our one true light and experiencing and manifesting our true heart's delight in service to the all through this great adventure we call the ascension, the event, the great awakening. So let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're seeing what you're feeling your visions your dreams your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe click the subscribe button below and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads and updates and i truly do appreciate you connecting with myself and my team and our rainbow nation our rainbow families. You can connect with us on Facebook. You can do a search for Divine 44, Rainbow Tribe of the New Earth, and interact with our team of lightworkers all over the sacred realm. So I truly appreciate each and every one of you for joining us on this most sacred mission in all eternity. Be in the love and the light of the Mother, Father, Creator, Source, and keep walking your path with heart, warrior of the light. I love you all. Namaste.